Alright, a bit of a rainy, windy day up here in NQ, so I thought I should maybe sit down and give you a quick rundown on one of my favourite things and something that I get asked about week in, week out. It's them guys. So that is the Finesse Frog from Z-Man. It's 2.75 inch long, so it's a small plastic, which can make things a little bit difficult. TT chin locks. And just so you know, that is a 1 12 ounce, and I'll explain the benefits of that in a second. Radio, so first off, very small profile, which basically can make casting and rigging it a little bit difficult. So, um, I'll run through just a little bit of stuff on rods and reels in a second, but first off, just the rigging. Um, sit down and play with them, but simple as this, just through the nose and then up through the body. Try and rig it deep on the back, which will basically um, stop the hook sliding down uh, through the plastic when you're casting. Right, so it is a weedless snag proof presentation. Um, the body will slide down and you'll pretty much get a solid hook set in the jaw every time, uh, which is yeah, super handy. The 112 ounce has heaps of benefits. Firstly, it will kill the plastic. That means basically when you're retrieving the legs, they'll paddle better, you'll get a bit more commotion through the water. The weight will allow further cast, which is always handy. Um, that weight will also mean skipping this plastic is so much easier. So I have used unweighted as well, and it still works perfectly fine, but that bit of weight allows you to really skip it way better. Um, and when you're talking about jacks, which this to me is what this plastic's all about. Um, being able to skip deep under overhangs is just the secret to catching fish or not. Um, so that's pretty much the plastic and the rig. The 112 ounce obviously um, has an extra added benefit. So that is a surface presentation, cast, bow arm over, high rod tips, you'll paddle across the surface, no dramas whatsoever. If the fish are a little bit shut down, what you can do is you can cast, let it sink down the water column and any fish that are sitting deeper will rise up so I'll just pulse that out of the snag You'll get e it'll get eaten when you're casting retrieving that way but what I like to do is I have to quickly pulse it out which will bring fish from the bottom up next cast I'll make surface again and because that fish is up and interested normally you'll get that reaction by it so that's another extra benefit of using that light weight so you can obviously sit it over snags let it sink and just pulse it and it'll get eaten that way as well. Righto, so gear wise, and probably the most questions I get is what gear do I use? Um, just because it is such a small plastic, so for me it's all about light spin. This and the combo from Akuma I absolutely love, so that's the Helios um, and the Helios reel. Two to four kilo, 10 brown braid, and leader wise pretty much depending on where you're fishing but I'll fish either 20 to 40 pound at the moment I'm running the um, hard armor from platypus this is the supple stuff which basically means you still um, it's strong tough but it keeps the um, the added benefit of uh, natural presentation instead of a really stiff leader always obviously tying a loop knot to your hook just to help with that um, extra natural presentation so so that's the gear I'm using um, the frogs are best fished under deep over like overhangs or over structure so I'll see I'll go along my bit of bank find my snags make long casts over the snag and get it paddling across the surface and you'll normally get hit right above it um, in saying that mangrove jacks obviously pretty much when that plastic lands is normally when they're going to hone in on it and eat it so be ready if you have a go at them um, definitely get yourself a pack rig them up have a go because they're just super fun and effective Ooh.